good morning you guys um before i start my video i am beyond really 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 so upset right now but before i start my video i want to start it off with the prayer because like i tell you all, all the time i know god has better things in store for me even when i feel like why me why should things happen to me or why when things don't go my way or on top of every evil badness i already have going on around me more things just pile and pile and pile up and it's just like how much more can i take but like i said i just want to say a prayer to remind everyone and to be an example that no matter how much things and people try to bring you down that god is the almighty and he will always be there for you so i'm gonna say a prayer and then i'm gonna talk to you guys about what is going on right now so dear lord bless today bless tomorrow thank you for everything you give us thank you for this wonderful day I pray for everyone, and I pray that you continue to bless and protect everyone. I also want to thank you for everything you give me, even though sometimes I don't understand why things happen. I know that you do everything for a reason, God. And no matter what, I will always understand and be patient with you. So, again, I just pray with, for everybody, and I just thank you for everything. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, you guys. So I'm trying really hard, really, 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 really hard to understand why I woke up to my channel being deleted. I don't care if I'm the pettiest in the world because I got on TikTok yesterday and I started making petty videos and I started texting Laura all sorts of crazy stuff because I was irritated. Like she came, the holidays were already hard on itself. And I asked her to please not come over to the house because like I was telling you guys, it was just a, a it was a lot for me to process, you know, like her not being like us not being a couple no more. Us as a family not spending the holidays together. Whenever I was pregnant, we were so looking forward to the holidays. So for everything to just be how it is now and just be so broken and for me to just have to sit in this house that we got together and, you know, like the whole vibe of the like the holidays and stuff. I'm obviously not vibing to it this year because it's just so much stuff going on. And obviously how I wanted it to be is not how it's going. So I asked her to please, I'm going to be at the house for the holidays. I'm not gonna be stressed out like I told y'all. I'm going to be at our house. Well, my house, it's her house as well, but it is also my house. So I'm not gonna be stressing around town looking for places to be with my child when I have a home to come to. So I just asked her, I said, can you please respect the fact that I just want to be alone at the house and I don't want nothing from you. I don't want you to pull up. I even told her that I was gonna call the police to scare her. I would not call the police on her. Like if things get out of hand, if someone like the police happens to show up, that's another thing. But I don't want the police involved. That's like not my go-to. I don't wanna see the mother of my child in trouble with the law. Like that's not what I'm about. It's not what I'm on. So I tell her that to like, you know, make it more serious, but Obviously, I wouldn't do that to her. I'm not that, like, I'm not evil. Like so that. moving forward to everything, I had just asked her to just stay away for the holidays. Clearly, y'all saw in my videos that she decided to delete that that was not the case. But that's my point. She's just going on, like, on milestones and milestones to just get at me, To I don't know what her problem is. I told her, you want to do whatever you want to do? Go. Leave my name and me out of it. Like, like I said, I, I don't care if I was being petty. I don't care if I was texting her all type of crazy stuff. That does not allow you to invade my personal, just because you have my emails and stuff. Like, I'm not going to go and change my emails and do all of that. She has access to all of my things. She knows my passwords. Like, it's not a no brainer. Even if I change it, she can get into my stuff. So I woke up to check my channel because I was going to post a video for you guys about like an update of everything. And my channel is deleted. Like the recent channel that I just made, I was gaining subscribers. I was like on a flow of something. I really felt like I was connecting with my subscribers and my supporters. And she deleted my channel. Do you know how evil that is? I was so upset. I've been calling her and calling her and texting her. This hoe blocked me. She blocked me. So the fact that I go to bed like with everything already going on and I wake up and you already know that you did some evil shit like that to just go and delete my channel, delete videos, okay. To delete my channel, I've literally worked hard for the last few days telling people to go subscribe to my new channel, start, start, trying to start fresh. And even though if I'm talking about you, you steady talk about me on your channel, you steady talk about the problems and you give your story and your, your side of the story. So if you're mad, if I'm doing the same, what is you mad for? I'm not the one who betrayed you. I'm not the one who broke the family. You are. 
You're out and about posting petty ass TikToks. All I'm doing is posting a new channel, starting fresh, and I'm doing me. And you don't like that. But like I said, she can go make TikToks. She can go delete my videos. Fine. To delete my channel, that is a whole different type of thing. I already tried to contact YouTube to try to get a hold of it. I don't think I'm going to get my channel back. So I told you guys on TikTok to please subscribe to my new channel. I'm trying really hard to keep all of my emails and passwords differently this time so she will not be able to get into my account. It's so frustrating when I'm just trying to be at peace and just really trying to just, you know, not be with the drama and she gonna go and do something like that. Obviously I'm turned up now. Like I was telling y'all, she wanna be petty and she wanna take everything from me and try to treat me and do me like I'm nothing and leave me with nothing. Okay, so let's turn up then. Let's turn up. I looked into it and I want you guys to give me to 100K on my channel. You guys give me to 100K on my channel and I will go get this tattoo removed. With that being said, some people are going to say, oh, why do you want to get to 100K? I want to get to 100K because God knows what Laura's going to do. I have a little bit of money and I looked into it and tattoo removals are in sessions and they are expensive. So I'm not going to go throw all my money into a tattoo removal session and then God forbid I'm left with nothing. I want to have 100K on my YouTube channel. So you guys, if you give me 200K on my YouTube channel, y'all will see on my channel, I will go get my tattoos removed. But with that being said, above all of that, on some real shit, I just want you guys to continue to support me. And at the end of the day, I just want to be an example to not let narcissistic people in relationship or in your life, in your life win. Because no matter what, I'm going to be positive with the situation. I'm going to put my foot forward in the situation and try to move in the right direction for myself. Because like I said, Laura, you might have took everything from me and you might have broke my family and you might have broke my heart and you might have made me feel the worst. But I'm not going to continue to let to, to allow you to put me down and know that you're putting me down. I'm going to come back 10 times harder and I said what I said. So I'm going to continue to pray for everybody. If you're watching this, please like, comment and subscribe. Let me know when you subscribe or you know, just talk to me in the comment section. I will be talking back to all of my supporters. I appreciate y'all and I love y'all. And stay tuned. Give me to 100K and y'all will see. That's all I'm gonna say.